put this in perspective, last week I visited a dredge, it's the Texas dredge, you may have read about it, it's, it's digging, dredging the channel out and leading into the harbor in Charleston, and it was five or six miles out, and it would be within that red section on the chart there that is within the sustained 75 miles an hour. And we were sitting on the dredge and you could see see land, you could see see the houses, you could see everything. That's how close it is. And I say again, one side of that red line is 75 and above and one inch on the other side is 74, just under 75. And just a movement of a mile or two will make a huge difference. So we're urging everybody to, to be safe. Also, in addition to that, the storm surge, that is the water coming in. We're talking about wind, but the water, the storm surge, on top of already higher than usual tides that are forecast, are expected to be uh, resulting from six to 10 inches of rainfall. All this creates the possibility of dramatic flooding in the low country, especially in Charleston, where the tide could rise to over 10 feet, 10.3 feet is estimated, which is about five feet higher than usual at regular high tide. So our message for today is this. This is a very serious storm, and a western shift, that is towards land, of just a few miles could bring enormous damage to our state. So we want everyone to heed the warnings, listen to the official instructions that are given, and we want to prepare for the worst, but of course, well, we want to pray for the best. So today, again, we repeat this message. If you are in the evacuation zones in the eight counties mentioned earlier along the coast, the time to leave is now. The lane reversal on I-26 is going very smoothly, and Secretary Christy Hall will provide more information about that in a moment. As for Highway 278 at Hilton Head, that reversal went smoothly as well, but we've ended that reversal as traffic has returned back to normal. If we need to re-implement the reversal on 278, we can do that very quickly. As for school and government closings, schools and state government offices will remain closed tomorrow. That is Wednesday, September the 4th. They're closed today. This is Tuesday. They'll be closed tomorrow on Wednesday, September the 4th in the following counties, the same as we announced earlier and the same as in which they are closed today. And that is Jasper, Beaufort, Colleton, Charleston, Berkeley, Dorchester, Georgetown, and Ori. They will remain closed in those counties, those eight counties, until further notice. 